How y'all doing this, Sushan Woman? Signing in, and I'm here today, back with a vidya after about, golly, it's been a while since I've made a vidya. But today, I'm gonna show y'all some things. I got a new cowboy hat, and I wanna show you my boot collection. First off, here's the new hat. It's a Stetson Rancher 7X. Very, very nice hat. I got it on, I got it from Boot Barn, I think. Very, very nice hat. Stick it on my head, and that's how it looks. Oops, finger in the camera. But yeah, that's, that's how it looks. It looks real, real spiffy. I, I like it. It's like a, it's what they call mist gray. It's like a mix. It's almost white, but it's a little bit darker. But yeah, I'll be back in a second. I got to turn the camera around. I'll be showing y'all my boots. So see y'all in a second. Okay, y'all, I'm back, and here is my boot collection. We're going to start off with the rattiest ones of them all, and I've had these for about a year and a half. These are uh, pretty worn in. They're Dan Post. If you look inside the tag there, uh, if you can see that. Uh -huh. See, they're Dan Post boots. They're very nice boots. They've held together pretty well. Uh... I've literally worked in an auto shop with them, and you can tell because look at the uh, the soles. They're about they've about had it. Look at that thread showing. But they've done me pretty well. They're uh, they're what they call uh, round toe. They're narrow round toe boots. They're round toe, but they're a lot narrower. The whereas these right here, we'll get to those in a second. Those are wide round toes. But yeah, that's them. Next, we've got some Laredo Trucker Boots is what these are called. They're the Trucker Boots because they got the embroideries on the side of them, on the toe. If you, if you can't tell, the toe box is pretty worn. I've scraped it against quite a bit of shit, so it's the toe box is very worn. But then we've got these embroideries here. It looks pretty badass. It's like black and blue and white. It's very badass. And then you go up here, and it's matching embroideries on the shaft. Uh... It's got embroideries back here on the heel, or up above the heel, too, where the spurs go. Very, very nice. It's, like, very, very badass, but I've worn these for about two years now, and they're, they've are they held up pretty well, too, other than I think one of these boots has a hole in the bottom of the sole because, yeah, it's these. It's this, it's this one because I stepped on a nail one time, and the nail pierced right through it, but it protected my foot pretty well. Yeah, see, they're Laredos. And that's that pair of boots. And then next up, we've got these Justin Ropers. They're Roper boots. Roper meaning that they have the the, the, the low heel. Because if you look at the heel on it, it's about an inch, inch and a half tall heel. Oh, God. There's a spider on this one. Yeah. He's dead now. But anyways, there was a spider on it. But yeah. They got the low heel. The heel's a lot lower on these boots. And they got the wide round toe. That's what dis distinguishes a roper from everything else. But yeah, that's them. Very nice boots. I've had them for about two years, and they've held up pretty well. But I haven't worn them as much because I don't like the way they look on my feet. But if you compare that to the cowboy boot, there's a difference between a roper and a cowboy boot. The heel's a lot taller, but it's taller in the back. That's a cowboy heel. And so is this heel right here. It's the same way. Taller in the back of the heel, but they're uh, very a lot taller. And they got that. You see how it curves forward like that? That's a cowboy heel. And then this is a roper heel. See, very, very flat looking in the back. No curvature. And then right here, we've got my, uh, these technically ain't boots. They're moccasins, but they're my twisted X's. They're very nice. They're very comfortable. They're good for wearing around the house, but they're, uh, they were about 80 bucks and they got the American flag on them. Very, very nice. Got the Twisted X logo right there. If I can get it out. Twisted X's. Not going to say much about them because I ain't worn them that much. And then you've got these dress boots that I only wear very seldom. They're Cody James, I think. Oh, the Cody James is worn off. We're going to have to look inside the tag. Is it in the front? I 
I don't see the Cody James tag in there. Yeah, there it is. Cody James. It's in the back. Can't hardly see it. You can see it somewhat. Cody James. These are square toe, and they got the they got the uh, low heel, the roper heel, but they're square toe. I haven't wore these very much because I've started to take less of a liking to square toe boots, but they're very, very nice boots. Uh, they've held up very well, very soft. I think they might be goat skin. Paid about 300 bucks for these, but I think they're goat skin. Yeah, because look how soft they are. But yeah, that's them. And then now for my prized possession. They're over here. I'm not going to show them yet because I want to explain. I bought these on sale on eBay for 250 bucks. They're originally $350 boots. They're Mexican made though, but they're still very, very nice boots. And I just got them about two weeks ago or maybe, no, it was about two or three days ago. i ordered them two weeks ago and they just got here two or three days ago, but here they are. They are gator skin boots and they're beautiful. They're gray and they're a toe that they like to call J toe because if you look at it, it makes the shape of a J. See, it kind of makes a J shape with the toe, but it's definitely pointy, a lot pointier than the other boots, except for these. These are might be pointier, but those are snip toe. These are actually J toe because if you can tell the difference, these dress boots have a little bit of a square at the end. That's snip toe, but these are perfectly round at the end. They're probably the pointiest ones I got. They're brand spanking new, barely been worn, probably about once or twice. Very nice boots. And they are genuine croc, but they're not, they're croc. They're not, I don't think they're gator. They're actually crocodile, but they're very beautiful boots. And I'm about to lose the camera here. So bear in mind, uh, be, excuse me, bear in mind, I might, bear in mind, I might drop the camera. <laughs> but yeah, they're uh, called El Presidente's. And they're very nice boots. And if you look up here, I'll prove to you that they're El Presidente's. They're actually Mexican sized. See, El Presidente. The 31 and a half, which in US size, that's like 12 and a half. But that's what I wear. Yeah, very, very beautiful boots. But yeah, y'all. Take a good old glare at them real quick. That's the that's the gator skin. If you can tell. They got, well, croc, I mean, but same thing. But look, they got croc skin up here, too. Up here on the, what they call the, uh, oh, they call them pull tabs or something like that. They help you pull the boot up on your feet. Uh, I thought that was a nice touch, too. But, yeah, they're very nice boots. And then you got the Cody James, the Twisted X moccasins, my Justin Ropers, my Laredo Trucker boots, and my Everyday Dan Posts. But yeah, y'all, that's about it for today. That's my boot collection. Tell me what y'all think. What's your favorite pair of boots that I own? And I'll see y'all later. This is Super Shannon Warren. Signing out.